they have to make the hole smaller. So what they do is, like you said, they grind the cap to make the hole smaller, and then they re-line bar it. So the center of the hole is going to move up into the block. So you can see okay. that if your transmission was perfect the first time around, now after you line bar it, it may not. I see. Okay. So what we do is we bolt the bell housing on, and then we've got a dial indicator mm -hmm. that I will set up right now. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So basically what's happened is the, the, uh, the bell housing is on the dowel pin simulating the motor. That's correct. And you, the dial indicator basically is simulating the center of the crankshaft. That's correct. All right. Now, what we want to do, it's, it's important that the, that the hole be within five thousandths. Hmm. That's a pretty tight current, but you yes. want to be within five thousandths of the center bore of your crank. I see. There are other considerations also. The, the faces of the transmission should be absolutely parallel on that's the same plane as the face of the back of the block. That's correct. Is when our bell housing is made and it comes out of the press, mm -hmm. then we Blanchard grind it first, both sides. We grind the bottom, then we grind the top, so they're parallel. Then after that, then we bore the center bore off of these dowel pins so that we know that that's correct. We don't go and punch our bell housings with all the holes in it and then have it painted and ship it out the door. Offset dowel pins have been in the market for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. um, since these uh, aftermarket bell housings were, were made, to be honest with you, because the center bore is not always in the middle. Because of line boring, because of uh, whatever. And when you check it and you find out that your bell housing, for instance, is 25 thousandths out, what do you do then? How do you, how do you correct it? Mm -hmm. Well, back in the old days, uh, before the adjustable dowel pins, what the guys were doing is opening up the holes mm -hmm. and then they would just take a hammer and knock it around until they got it right and then they would take and weld a washer over the um, over the dowel pin. Now see. that's a way of locating the bell housing but here's the negative side is because when you weld a washer to this flange, now we were talking about parallelism, right? you put heat on here and you weld on it, it's not oh. going to be parallel anymore. Yeah, it's basically heat treated. Yeah, you just, what you did now is you put heat here, you just warp this flange. Ooh. So now, this flange is warped, which you bolt this up to the block, what guarantees this is going to be parallel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what they did is they developed uh, offset dowel pins, and you would buy them in different settings. Um, what would happen, though, is they're kind of a pain to put in because it's a press fit. So mm -hmm. you have to knock them in with a hammer, put it on, check it, Nope, that's not right. Take it out, try to calculate how much you got to do, rotate it, knock them back in, and so on. Hmm. Uh, we at McLeod, we have uh, engineered a new offset dowel pin, which is a, a concentric. And what it is, is the bottom mm -hmm. half is what you actually drive in, you press into your block. Mm -hmm. we've, got a, we've got a set screw right see, here. Is there. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is actually an eccentric that rotates. That's right. And we've got a set screw in the middle. I see. So you loosen it, and all you have to do is put a socket on there with your bell housing on there lightly up there, and you can actually put a ratchet on both sides, and you can rotate that thing to move that bell housing anywhere you want it to be. Once you get it where you want it, then you just hold it with a wrench and lock her down with a set screw. Ah, so that's what the set screw does. That's it's exactly there what it for does. Locking it, down. it locks that from rotating. So you get it to where you get the bell housing where you want it, lock her down, and you're done. You don't have to keep knocking them in and out, in and out. Mm. You know, when you're laying on your back, and it's a hot yeah. summer day, oh, yeah. and you're sweating, <laughs> oh, yeah. the last thing you want to do is be muscling that bell housing on and off, you know, five or six different times. Especially when it's a game of thousands down right. there. Right. Well, So we just came out with this. This is a new product of ours. Um, generally, our people have not had to use dowel pins mm -hmm. using our bell housings because right. they're that close. Uh, we pretty much engineered these for people who are using... Other. Other people's bell housings. Maybe I should and, get a set. And, you know, special machine work that you've had done to your block. Yeah, because mine, mine has a, been a line board. Yeah, you know, you get a motor out of a wrecking yard, and that thing's been around forever. And, you know, things aren't always where they're supposed to be. Right. That's why machinists make lots of money. Hmm. Got it. All right, Fred, well, thank you so much for your information. Definitely appreciate that. You're welcome. All righty.